In this video, we'll be looking at setting up an item charge in Business Central. We would use these in a purchase or a sales document in order to record any additional charges, such as freight costs or labour, that we haven't already covered in our resource or item lines. To begin, I will look for item charges, select the list. Here I've got any existing item charges in the system in our Cronus database. In this case, I'll look to create a new item charge for a purchase document, creating our number as p slash labor with the description of labor charge. Next, I need to make sure that the general product posting group and the VAT product posting group is set up correctly to post to the correct GL account. In this case, I'll use the same groups as above. And now we're ready to go and use this on a purchase document. So to begin, I'll create a purchase order. Use my vendor Fabricam. I'll put in multiple lines. Our first item will use an Athens desk. And we'll put in one more line. Now below this, we can add our charge item of P labor. I'll add the quantity of one. And the cost, which in this case we'll say is £50. Now, in order to assign our item charge, we need to go to line, item charge assignment. This will bring up my lines from my purchase document. If I'm creating a completely new order of only item charges, I can get receipt lines and add these to any other purchase document at a later date. In this case, though, we'll use just item charge assignment, and then this will determine how we distribute the item charge across both lines. In this case, we'll go by amount. Now I just simply close, and the document is ready to post. 